Welcome to Web Handling. My name is Dave Roysom. In this first of a series on baggy webs, we discuss measurement. Whether we make or buy webs, we want to make sure that they are flat enough. We can quickly and easily grade the severity of bagginess using our own eyes. Observations of the shape of bagginess profiles are also essential for troubleshooting. However, visuals are subjective, which greatly increases the endless discussion of whether it is or isn't excessively baggy. To improve on this, we would desire measurements that could be made at the maker and buyer. There are many. However, all suffer from some combination of high variability, high cost, or being just time-consuming to do. However, if there were one test that might work well in most situations, it is the strip test. Here, we cut the web up into as many strips as necessary to capture the problem area and let them expand to the length they would like to when not tied together with their neighbors. This first principle measurement is predictive in that the range of unacceptable bagginess is on the order of 2 to 20 parts per 10,000 length difference depending on the modulus of the web and the fussiness of the customer. While this test is good for most materials, except for those extremes of stiffness such as tissue and steel, it is extremely time-consuming to do. Thus, this technique is reserved only for serious troubleshooting or when you are considering whether to reject a truckload of material. Thank you so very much for watching this module in my plant practical series. If you want to learn how to prevent bagginess, please see my Web 101 module on baggy web troubleshooting.